Hey, what's up people? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be continuing along on this Mac application that we had started last time. After looking at Alto Mail by AOL, uh, I was invited to that. I looked at their design and I thought it was beautiful. And right away that gave me an idea to kind of implement that sort of design into this task application. So you'll see throughout the video that it actually changes quite a bit, which is kind of the point of the wireframe, just to throw out the basic idea and then we come by later and make it work better. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step that I did was created a nice background color for this. And I did this by creating a simple gradient from top to bottom. Took a little bit to choose the correct colors, but I think this looks nice. And then I duplicated that layer and got rid of the effects, the gradient overlay, and made sure that the background was white. And then I went to filter noise and I added some Gaussian noise to it and then change the blending mode to multiply, which only left the noise, and then I lowered down the opacity. So it gives it kind of a 3D interesting look. Now what I'm doing here is creating the panels for each section. I have just a large white background for projects and then a smaller one for tasks, kind of like it's coming out of the side of the projects. Now to add some depth, all I did was grabbed a big soft paintbrush and painted a black line on the left side of the tasks panel and then I cropped it off so it's only on that panel. Now begins the long tedious process of trying to choose fonts and colors. So pretty much what I went with was a, the font called Open Sans and Open Sans Condensed. And both of these fonts can get downloaded from the Google uh, Type Kit or whatever it's called. I have a link down in the description below. And I did all caps for the project titles and also for the section titles and then made those a little bit darker and then for the body text I believe I did open sans and about a font size of about 13 pixels and then a little bit lighter that way it's not so prominent and burning your retinas don't fall in love too much with my type um, this might end up changing later on in the project but for now I'm happy with it I thought this was pretty cool I wanted to have a dotted spacer underneath the text and to do that, all I did was grab the pencil tool and had a one pixel block. And then I went into the brush options and changed the spacing. And the spacing was the hardest part. I just had to tweak it until it was the look that I wanted. Then all you have to do is hold down shift and draw a straight line. Simple. Here's me just messing with the font colors and the wording for the titles. Nothing too important, so I'm just going to speed through this. The number on the side of the task was bothering me, so I decided to try and mess with it a little bit. But everything that I did, I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't really look too good. I thought it made it pop out too much, whereas I wanted just to be a subtle detail. So I pretty much went back to the original idea that I had. I messed with the text color a little bit more, and then I grouped together all the elements to one of the tasks, so when I duplicate it, it's a little bit easier and cleaner to work with. The additional information section right over here is bothering me a little bit. It seems like it's too, uh, too eye-catching. It's just like a huge block of color. So my idea was to kind of tone it down a little bit by creating a rounded rectangle, uh, making the color just a slightly darker gray than the background, and then put a uh, slight stroke around it. And then just put the additional information side of there. Text size is the same thing as the tasks. Now I'm just putting in the original icons that I used for the mock-up. I will be recreating these later on, which I'll show the process for. But for now, I just wanted to get them in there. And that is going to finish off the task section. Be sure to subscribe so you'll know when the next video is up and we'll probably be working on the project section next. So thanks for watching and see you next time.